Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here. Um, really quick this time, uh, uh, because it's not something that needs um, a lot of uh, time to explain. Um, uh, Philip Bennett asked the question um, the, uh, about the name uh, Yahweh. Uh, the tetragrammaton in the Hebrew um, and, uh, and the use, Yahweh or Jehovah. Um, I recently, not too long ago, as a matter of fact, Philip, um, if you can't find it, Moeen can probably help you find it. I think it's on, on, on the playlist. Um, but uh, um, I spoke about uh, this video this young man was doing uh, where he, his dark haired young man, and he seemed really professional. The video was very professionally done. And he was talking about um, Pastor John MacArthur and his uh, um, legacy standard Bible and the use of Yahweh as opposed to Jehovah. Um, again, uh, I've told my wife and uh, others um, that have asked about this. Um, you'll have, uh, you'll have the, the Tetragrammaton, all right, and I'm just going to quickly, I'm trying to do it in a manner that you can, um, you can see, um, so you can see, it's kind of hard to do it with these thin microns here. I should, um, you, Y-H, yeah, W-H. But, again, um, you have, this is the tetragrammaton here. All right, now, Moline will turn the video around for me so that you see it the way it's supposed to be. All right, the Hebrew is right to left. It reads right to left, where we read left to right. But you see, yod he vah he. Okay, that's yod, or in, in the English transliteration, it's spelled heth, and that's wa. W A W or <coughs> excuse me, va, vav, vav, v a v. Now that's just a matter of pronunciation. The way we spell it in transliterating is irrelevant in this in this case, um, because the consonant okay is still the same in the Hebrew. All right, so you're pronouncing it Jehovah. Or your pronoun because it would be J H V H or Y H W H. Now this is the yod. All right, there's no J in Hebrew or Y for that matter. All right, but um, the Hebrew consonants. There's 22 Hebrew Hebrew letters. They're all consonants. There's no vowels. Vowel points were added in the, by the Masoretes in the ninth century, and they were like. They were called quamets, and you know, and you would see lines underneath and a couple of vowel points there. You know, quamets, they were just vowel points, and so it was the way that they created the ability for us to pronounce the words. But in Hebrew, yachlich, you know, it's just pronounced like that with a glutteral sound. The Hebrew used a lot of glutteral sounds when they pronounced their words. Um, so um, uh, again, um, my uncle Wayne is uh, fluent in biblical Hebrew. Um, amazing, you know. Um, but again, you couldn't get um, a, you couldn't get uh, a rabbi to pronounce this name. They won't do it. It's just like taboo for them. So they won't even pronounce it. We really don't even know how it should be pronounced. But most Hebrew scholars, 
agree. And I'm not a Hebrew scholar now. Um, I understand the language. I know how to read some of it and I can pronounce the consonants, no problem. The Hebrew alphabet, no problem. Um, I went I went into the Greek. I became fluent in the Greek. And so New Testament Greek, that's my forte. The Hebrew, not so much. But I understand the name Yahweh. I understand the Tetragrammaton. And it was put in the Bible for us to read and to speak and to, I mean, God gave Moses his name for a reason so we could speak it. It became... Um, a tradition, a Hebrew tradition, to not speak it at all because of fear and reverence and awe. And I get it. I understand. But it became a religious practice that just is not necessary and wasn't commanded to begin with. Um, so, again, this video that you find this young man doing, again, very professional, not like me sitting here with my, you know, couch behind me and my painting. <laughs> I don't do these things professionally. I do them off the cuff. But Philip, I want you to understand that you can trust the translation Yahweh as being correct. Um, if you look at it in the um, 1901 ASV, uh, the uh, original, mm, the granddaddy of the New American Standard, um, the 1901 is uses Jehovah. And wherever you see Yahweh in the... Um, in the LSB, you'll find it in the um, 1901 as Jehovah. So, again, it's not a problem. It's just a matter of pronunciation. And don't forget, you have the Latin, okay, that intervenes here. And why, why it was pronounced Jehovah as opposed to Yahweh, which is what uh, modern Hebrew scholars prefer. And that's just that. Um, it's that simple, S same name, no difference, nothing wrong with you pronouncing, do you think God really has a problem with you pronouncing it Yahweh as opposed to Jehovah? Do you think God's going to condemn you if you say Yahweh instead of Jehovah? Come on. And that's what this person was saying in his video was that John MacArthur changed the name of God and whoa. And he, he read from particular portions of scripture that say, you know, uh, no, no, you're going to be condemned and you're going to hell for this and everything else. And come on, really? You're going to condemn Pastor John to hell because he chose Yahweh over Jehovah? Nah, sorry. Um, don't worry about it. I don't think it's a problem. And I, I would advise you not to be concerned with it. I read the LSB. I love it. It's a great translation. I purposely bought it to examine it. And my wife and I went through the New Testament looking at all of the text variants. And I've found that the LSB is as trustworthy as any other. English translation that we have today. Any um, other of the mainline English translations that we have today. Again, there's garbage translations and you can't trust them all. But there are only a few that even address that name. Everyone else uses Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Come on, you can't translate the Tetragrammaton as Lord. But there's nothing wrong with Lord. If you call him Lord, isn't he Lord? Yes, he is. So again, there's nothing wrong with that. That was just done out of respect, reverence for the name. Should we pronounce it? Should we not pronounce it? Hey, here's a great idea. Let's translate it Lord. And so with the Latin, the assistance of the Latin language, uh, we got Lord instead of the Tetragrammaton. Um, uh, Steve can uh, add some insight from the Latin um, uh, perspective. And uh, so, uh, Steve, you get a hold of this, man. Throw something in there. And uh, by the way, we'll be getting together soon. I have a call that I have to deal with now. Um, so I have a meeting coming up. So listen, I hope that was helped to you, uh, Philip Bennett, and to everyone else that watches. Um, if you have questions, ask We'll be glad to answer them here and uh, do our best anyways. Um, know that Jesus is Lord. 
that he loves you and we love you. We care for your soul. And we want you to know that the word of God is trustworthy, that you can read the Bible and know that it is the word of God and you can be saved. If you don't know Jesus, you can be born again. You need to be born again because Jesus said, if you're not, you can't enter in. You need to be born again. Surrender to Jesus and watch what he'll do. He'll change your life dramatically. Jesus loves you. We love you. Um, I hope and pray that you all have a great rest of your day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name.